Hello everyone. Uh, so we are back with Access. I'm continuing with the same file and I want to finish up the last part in Access which is called Reports. Um, at the end of the day, um, what people care about is having a report in their hand. You usually don't print the tables or the queries or the forms. You usually create reports that will print the table. And, and you can even add certain elements to it like counting the records and, and calculations and things like that if you needed to do it. So making the report is very easy. You just start the report using the wizard. It's better to use that. And choose the table and you'll find you see you can also create a report based on a query which will do that afterwards but I just want to do a simple one. Contact list 1 which is my table and I can choose to have the contact ID if I need it. If don't then I can just start with the first name, last name, telephone number, date of birth, um, I don't want address, I'll take city, province, um, I don't need that, I'll take their website and things like that. So you can pick what is it that you want to create a report for uh, rather than everything. Uh, you can even take picture if you want it and you can delete it later also if you needed it. So I'll just add it for now. And then Oh, I think I forgot to add the picture. Let me add it. And oops, uh, I want picture after this. Okay. Next, and this is the order, and you can give something more priority and things like that. So you can again move things up and down if you wanted to. Click next, and you can choose if you wanted to put things by order. So if I wanted to put everything by city. I can choose city so it will be sorted by city or so all the cities will be grouped together and you can then sort it by something else too. Next. And the default size setting is okay for layout but I can choose my portrait or landscapes. So I can make it landscape so it's sideways so it'll have more room to fit things in all my columns. I click next. And you can choose different designs uh, just the way it looks. Um, not a big deal here. Click next. And that's the name. So I would just like to call it report contact list. It's just good to say that so it's easier and I hit finish. So here it shows me my report. Name of the city, first name, last name, telephone number and some of the things are hiding. I'm going to show you how to fix that and the picture is taking up a lot of room. So we have six pages right now because of the picture. Um, you can go to the setup from right from here and you can again make the changes in margins for the top margins, bottom margins. You can change it back to portrait or landscape so you can make those changes while you are in the print preview. So again just like everything else in um, Access there is a design element to the report. So if I click it I'm back in the design element and there's my tool which I can use for a couple of things. I'm just going to put it up there Here's my title. I can call it and change it to whatever I want. I can extend it to the end of the report and I can put it to the center. So my title is here and the, all the other things are there. The size, name, font type. You can put colors. All of those things are there. If you wanted to put a picture you could always use the image. So a lot of the things we looked at in the forms, they apply here. I can click it and I can put an image there if I needed it. Um, and that is the header part. So any changes you make here which will affect the headings and any changes you make here will affect the details. So if I have 11 records, all my records will have that change that I'm making. So if I make this first name uh, bold, then all of my records in the first name will have bold. If I make this first name red in color, it means only the title, the top column title will be red in color. Alright, so let's just do a few things. So I'm going to click on this picture and I can say, you know what, don't take up all this space. So I'll reduce it and I'll move this guy back up. So I'm just saying, you know what, keep it at the lower level. So don't take up too much space. Or if I wanted, I could just hit delete here and also there to delete it. Okay. And uh, you know what, I'll hold the shift key, click on the bottom one too, both are highlighted. Look for the arrow in the middle and I can reduce the size. Now I click here and click here and I can move it. Province. 
Now for the date of birth, I can just extend it a little bit because the dates were not visible properly. And just make some room. So I've done that. Let's hit save and come back to my print preview. And there it is. So now you see I can see a lot of the stuff nicely. And it's only two pages now. So if I wanted, I could go back and reduce this picture a little bit more. Move this back up a little bit. Now let's see uh, if I'm back to... I still have two pages, so maybe just maybe one record is going there on page two. Okay, so let's get back to design. I'll just make it a little bit more smaller. Now I have only one page, so I think, yeah, good. Come back to design view. So this is the way you can rearrange stuff and um, make changes to the details or the headings. And you see on the bottom, they also have this labels here where it says now equal to now, which puts the date. So that's the format in Access. And up here you see the page numbers and things like that. Uh, now you could add your own elements to it. So like look for the button that says text box. And I'm just going to make some room here on the bottom. And say I wanted to put a total here. So for some reason it wasn't working. I'm hoping that it works this time. So I'm going to click on this text box. And I'll just make a small box here. Double click here. And I can change that data caption to say total. And then I double click on this part. And I can go to the data part. And in the control source, I can type equal count bracket star bracket. That means count all the records that I have on this report. I'll close this so it shows up there. Let's see if it works. Uh, for some reason, I'm getting an error here. But as soon as I move this guy, I'm going to look for the hand and move it up here in the header. And if I scroll back up, there is my total 11 records. So I don't know why it's not working in the footer. It's supposed to work. Maybe my computer is not updated because I just installed this old copy of Office 2003 as I've been using Office 2010 and I haven't updated it. So maybe there's a problem here, but you can try and see if it works for you. And you don't even have to try to remember a lot of these things. So when you double click or you right click on it, and you go to properties there is that dot dots at the end and this is the expression builder so you can go here you can look at functions built-in functions and you see they have date if I want it I can double click it and it puts that expression there for date so, and you can do a whole bunch of things you can do plus minus certain different things uh, and if you get more into detail, you'll be looking at this and you'll have to use all of these parameters. And you can use this in queries, forms, and reports as you need it. And uh, if you want it, I could even put like, uh, instead of just putting a star, I can put in the bracket, I can put like that, and I can type first name. So that means with the bracket, I am asking it to print count the first names so rather than all I can control that too so you, even if I just close this save it come to print preview now it will still say 11 because it's counting the number of names I have which is 11 which is the same as the records and you can even take your report and from here send it to Word or Excel and then you can do things there Come back to design view. And um, there is one more button here I wanted to show. Auto format. You can change the look from here. This is also available in the forms design if you want it. You can change the look towards something different. So I'm going to close this. And there is the report. Now, as you keep on adding more records in the tables, directly in the tables or through forms. 
they will keep on showing up in the report whenever you run it because it's going to get up to date all the records so if you go and add five more so now you have 16 records you will have 16 and the count will say 16 okay so I'll do another report using the wizard but this time I'll show you what happens when you use query so I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to say use the query query by city if you remember in the second third video for the query we had created a query which will ask us a question that what city's contacts do you need so again I'll just pick a few first name last name telephone number date of birth um, I'll take the city and I'll take website okay. and I'll click next next I can choose how do I want to sort things doesn't matter next can make it portrait or landscape in this case I don't need too many so I can leave it portrait next choose any design next and I can call it report by city so that I know what that report will do and I hit finish and it the query runs and it is asking me the questions so if I type Toronto now I get the report only for Toronto and I can go back to the design view and I can go you know what I'm wasting some of these spaces so I'll make telephone number a little small so I can make the date of birth so I'm using the shift key to highlight both okay. so I type Barry this time so I get report for Barry and now I've just extended it and I can reduce the city width a little bit so I'll just be creating some distance from all of these things. So there is the one for Vancouver. Okay. So I'm just going to hit save uh, and there. So report by city. So every time you double click on this, it's going to ask you that question: which city? So this way you don't have to do anything. The query will run on the table and it will give you the report for all of that stuff alright the next thing I'm going to show you is what is called a switchboard manager uh, usually when you go into access like people don't want you to look at the tables and things like that they'll just give you buttons that when you click on things it will open the form or it will open the report so you don't have to people don't need to know much about it so I'm going to show you how to create a switchboard that's what the word is so you go to tools database utilities and up here you'll find that there are some questions they'll ask you about uh, compacting and repairing a database so usually the questions will be where you say repair it so you just go to tools database utilities and you can do compact and repair or if they ask a questions about analyze you just point to analyze and analyze the table or performance depending on the question they're asking you they won't ask you too much detail you just follow that step and that's it so back to database utilities and I'm looking for a option called switchboard manager click it it's saying hey you haven't set up a switchboard you want to create one I say yeah now there's a default one and I'm gonna edit it and while I'm in edit I'm going to add a new thing in the switchboard so there is the text before I write text I need to choose what is it I want to do so I'll say let's open a form in edit mode and which form do you want I want the form for the contact list and I'll just write instead of that I'll say enter contact info and I click OK so that is there you could always delete it ever later if you want new and I'll say this time I'll say create open report and I'll say report open the whole report so meaningful words will be good so people will know what they are new I'll do another report and I'll say for report by city click OK and I'll do one last one new and I'll say exit and I'll tell it to exit okay 
and I'll click close and I'll click close now what I want to do is that every time I start access this switchboard manager should come up automatically so people don't go around looking at tables and queries and make changes so I go to tools startup and I say display form page I'll say it should be switchboard click OK I'm going to close this so it will close so I didn't exit out of access even if you did that it wouldn't matter now I'll go back to file open and I'll do contact list and it's asking me this message I'll say open anyways and there is my switchboard manager so if I click on enter contact info it opens the form the one we had created earlier if I say contact list report now there is my whole report report by city it will ask me this question Toronto and there is my report I can print it send it to Word so there is the print option there or file print so if I wanted to make any changes I'll always have to come back here go to reports go to the design view directly create them whatever I want to do and if I use exit it's gone so that's it for the report and switchboard manager. I'm hoping to do one more video that should finish up this Access 2003 series because I want to talk about relational database. So thank you for watching.